Hello YouTube friends. We're going to go on a bit of a journey today. A few days ago it was the most glorious, beautiful autumn day and I drove off in the car to visit a friend of mine who lives about half an hour away. He has a candle workshop and I thought you guys would be interested to see what he does. Now, I've known Ted for about, oh, 30 years it must be. That's Rory, not Ted. I did ask everyone's permission to be in the in the video. And what I want to show you here is how they make these fantastic candles, dipped wax candles, on this. Um, the first time I saw this, I was completely blown away. I thought it was just stunning. And I've been going to visit Ted, I don't know, maybe once or twice a year to stock up with candles and just to say hi to Ted because he's a really nice guy and Rory too. So I want to describe the setup to you so that you can see what's going on here. These big carousels here, there are six of them connected together and each one, Rory can pull each one round so that it hangs it over the big vat of melted wax. Uh, there he's measuring the thickness of those tapers. They're making different size candles at the same time here with these white candles. And so he's measured them, he's having a think, and um, instead of dipping them again, he's dipping this enormous great big ones. Now Rory explained to me that these big, fat, massive candles can spend three days on this carousel being dipped at very regular intervals to get all the wax onto the wicks. So we're going to look at the whole process here. So I won't try to describe it all in one go. <laughs> he dips the wicks that are threaded onto those carousels into the molten wax, which is in that boiler. They have three boilers like that. And he drips them for a bit. And then he'll pull the next one up, rotate it round. Now, on the same dip, they will may do um, very thin tapers like these. They may do big thick candles. Whatever is needed uh, at that time. So these thin tapers, I've used these uh, on uh, birthday cakes before. I know they're long, but they're absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> and so Rory's measuring very carefully there to see if they've had enough dips in the wax. So now he's come down to where the vat with the orange wax is and dipping that one up and down just to make those a little thicker. These little candles here, they were finished. They didn't need any more uh, dipping at all, but these big thick ones did. And so these thin ones, these sm small ones rather, were ready to cut off. So that being the wicks are being cut off at the bottom there, right at the bottom. And then these pairs of candles can be lifted off and packed, this is Ted doing this now, and packed into the box. So Ted um, wholesales all of his candles. This place isn't really open to the public, so you can't just turn up there and buy candles. I mean, he's a very friendly guy, so you probably can, but I'm not suggesting you do. <laughs> so just as an aside, those little tiny scraps of wick at the bottom that are covered in wax, they make extremely good fire lighters. <laughs> I've sometimes been lucky enough to get a carrier bag full of them. So Rory now is taking off the candles there in pairs, and that's how they're sold, in pairs, with uh, that connecting bit of wick across the top there. Yeah, so all of those will come off, and then that carousel will be threaded up with more wicks again for the next batch of candles. They do all sorts of fabulous colours every colour under the sun. And unlike some candles that are white and just the outside is dipped, the colour goes all the way through these. Obviously these are white ones and these big, thick, glorious white ones are lovely. I love the drips at the bottom of the carousel. 
I could watch this all day. So this is their busy time of year, because of course, coming up for Christmas time, everybody wants um, candles, they give them as gifts and so on. But as I was saying to you, then they don't retail from here. Uh, they have a number of places uh, in the UK that they do retail to. Uh, and so you can't really buy them. Isn't that marvellous? You can buy, I'll leave a couple of links below. You can buy them at a place called Toast. They sell the beeswax candles. Uh, and there was another place Ted told me about. I'll look up the information and leave it in the description below. Sometimes the candles aren't quite perfect. And so uh, Ted boxes those up and sells them as seconds. So that's the beeswax jug. And we're going to look now at uh, this third melter that, he, that, that they have. I like this sequence of film because it shows you the whole process, how as one carousel goes up, the other one goes down and they can move it around until it's over the vat of beeswax. In this case, it smelled absolutely glorious. But if you see Rory is only dipping that one and the one opposite, all the others are finished. So he's just lifting that one up to get it out the way and scooching it round. They don't actually need to dip those again. They're all done. The little stubby candles there. And then these ones, which do need a few more layers of beeswax. Watch now. He puts that one in and leaves it. And that kind of burns the bottom off and makes it level for when the candles are finished. So then I drove home in the beautiful, glorious sunshine. I should go to Ted's more often, shouldn't I? But I had brought back a few little candles, just some of those glorious beeswax candles, small ones, that I'm going to put in the shop for you. There's not very many, but uh, they'll be available in the shop as soon as I've uploaded this video. So that was great, wasn't it? Thanks so much for watching, everyone. And I will catch you next time.